apparently religious people think karma is a new age really sinful satanic lie that if we're made to believe in karma you know we're going down the wrong path and somehow that's new age and I don't even know what this concept of new age is all about like it just seems to be another title that's put on another behavior or maybe another belief and it's like get rid of your freaking titles get rid of your freaking beliefs and and kind of just look at what the common sense is what is the aspect of karma is it the word that you dislike is it that it was in some new age book that you dislike like what part of karma is it that you don't like and then maybe see that you religious people are kind of agreeing with karma, but you don't even know it. What is the whole purpose of believing in God and having a spirit, you know, the, the Holy Spirit inside you and having God in your heart? And, you know, what's the whole purpose of that? You know, like if you do good unto others, what happens? Does good not come back at you? Oh, like karma? If you put bad out into the world, then what are you going to get back? Bad at ya? You know, kind of look at some of these, you know, really, really wealthy people that need to put these big, huge fences. Why does a wealthy person need to put gates around their house? Do you think the rest of the world is that big and bad? What do you think created the big badness of the world that wants to come and steal from you? Could it possibly be that you stole from other people? You manipulated? Let's kind of look at how the wealthy are manipulating to get their money. They formulate commercials that are used with psychology. That is, you know, there is a science that says, how do we brainwash people into losing complete control over themselves and, and purchase things that we want them to purchase? You know, like they are completely brainwashed into following a commercial you know and you say we have free will <laughs> there, are, there are people in business that use psychology that they figure out how the brain works to manipulate you into giving up any money you have so you can buy their stuff and what do they do with the stuff that they got using commercials that have formulated even using sex that sells like the emotion that you know that's the strongest on, on this planet. You know, sex is in relationship to love. You know, all of us are living in a lack of love. We're all dying to have that love feeling. So we're going to use the buy my stuff to get that loving feeling. We're all searching for it. It's a brainwashing technique. It's, it's so heavy duty brainwashing. You know, so kind of figure out where you got your big house you know and 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 kind of relate to you created some kind of poverty you you put out into the world some negative experience and expect that to come back at you maybe not from, directly from the person that you actually harm but it's going to come out within the society that you create you know so when you see a house that has a nice big fence trust trust without a doubt that they got wealthy because they did a little bit of bad karma out there and those big fences are their ways of preventing that bad karma from coming back at them you know how what was the cost of that building those electric fences that need so many guards you know like look at the g20 why do they need so many guards you know could they possibly be putting out some bad karma you know is there some people in the world that kind of say there's something wrong here and that negative energy is coming at them and we need to build these big gates and get all these soldiers you know like the g20 billions and billions of dollars are are spent on having a meeting you know how many people are suffering how many of those billions of dollars could have been going into oh maybe people that are on a social welfare system could have used that to start a business you know how many p new businesses would have been created uh, you know from all of the money from building those guards you know so these religious people that think we shouldn't look at karma you might want to take another look at that because karma is working all the time and there is another awakening that this law of attraction it's the same thing that what is inside you is what you're going to attract and we are all globally connected whether we want to face that or not but globally you'll really have to get into the science to understand this but from the smallness of yourself you will experience who you are from the bigness you know like what your DNA is you can see with the body that you're using okay but 
you know, if you believe and have hate in your heart, and you put hate out there, hate will return. So if you can kind of see that connection that what is in the smallness is attracting like a magnet in the bigness, it gets bigger than that. It gets universal. It gets into the galaxy. What we what what happens on this planet, what we put out into our universe is what's affecting the sun. <laughs> you know, like you think the sun is throwing out these solar flares and, and you know, it's called karma. You know, there's a lot of anger, a lot of negative energy out here, you know. Hell. Hell is flames. The more hell we create on planet, the more flames we're going to see. You know, just a suggestion. You know, if the planet was calmer, the sun seems to be calm. Kind of do a little experiment. See if that's true. See when the earth was the calmest. When there in proportion to how many people are on the planet and how many people are suffering and do a relationship to what was that sun doing at that time does not the anger and frustration seem to be growing and doesn't the anger of the sun seem to be growing just saying and now they're starting to put a connection that whatever that sun is doing it's having an effect on the planet in more ways than just heating us up you know there tends to be some earthquakes related to some of um these solar flares but you know you can disagree with that but there's a lot of people that are starting to wake up to that so these religious people that say karma is a bad thing and it's a big sin it's like if it's a big sin then why are you using karma to believe in God and have this Holy Spirit you know you think something good's gonna happen to your life just as soon as you get a spirit inside you yeah you know like if you get something good inside you you're gonna improve your life you're using karma, the very thing you think is a sin. So put two and two together. What you're against is probably what you agree with and you can't even see it. Peace out.